Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense with another first impression unboxing haul, whatever you wanna call it video. Honestly, I'm not even in the mood to do a video right now. It's been one of those days, but you know what? We're gonna do it anyway. Five fragrances today. We have five fragrances to go over. Two from the Woods Collection. I bought these on uh, FragranceNet. For whatever reason, they seemed interesting to me. I actually hadn't even heard anything about this house or any of these fragrances until I saw them there on FragranceNet. We've also got this one, Davidoff Cool Water Intense. Uh, obviously a flanker to the original Davidoff Cool Water, one of the best-selling men's fragrances of all time. Nautica Blue Ambition, which is another flanker. This one is a flanker to the Nautica Blue line of fragrances, which are the ones that have the little sail bottle. A really inexpensive line. This one, I think, was maybe 18 bucks. And last, but probably not least, Pete and Pedro Rebel. This is the fragrance uh, by Alpha M, Aaron Marino. If you're unaware of who he is, he's a huge YouTuber, men's lifestyle, that kind of thing, fashion, fitness, all of the above. So yeah, let's crack into this. Five fragrances, let's check these out, see which one's best, which one is worst. We'll start off with the Woods Collection fragrances because this is how they came. They're not sealed in cellophane or anything, so it'll be pretty easy to crack into these. I bought this one as a tester. Comes with the cap, but no box. And this one is the Woods Collection Eden. There is a close-up of the bottle so you can check it out. So what attracted me to this brand was basically just the name, The Woods Collection. I really like woody fragrances, and I like fragrances that remind me of being in the forest. Whether it's a dark forest, coniferous forest, whatever. The cap on this is a really light plastic. This is not metal, in case you thought it was. I don't know how it comes across on the video. Let's give it a spray. Atomizer on it is decent. I think that this is a fragrance house from the United Arab Emirates, and it says that the fragrance itself was made in France. This one, Eden, is not on Fragrantica. It comes off very floral. This is a, yeah, this is a floral heavy fragrance. Pretty sure that it's supposed to be unisex. This one definitely leans feminine though. Yeah, it comes across very floral and maybe some woods in there. Very surprising considering this is the woods collection. So I'm guessing with the name Eden, they're taking that to mean the Garden of Eden. So some florals would make sense. But that's mainly what I'm getting here. Uh, maybe rose in here. It also smells like there's other floral notes in there as well though. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't really surprise me if there was also ylang ylang in there. Like a, a yellow floral. And there's probably some white florals in there too. It smells like, yeah, it's just a, a very floral heavy fragrance. It's definitely feminine. I don't know why they sold this as unisex because it's not. That's okay though. It was just a waste of money is all. It doesn't smell bad. It's just, it's too feminine for my taste. It's basically a floral bouquet. Uh, the woods in here, very light. Probably sandalwood, really. Just kind of that creamy wood. And a whole bunch of florals on top of that. Next up, let's try this one out. It's called Green Walk. This one has a box, though when it arrived, the box was not sealed. So it came just like this. Here's a good look at the front of the box for you guys out there. And the one or two ladies that are watching this as well. You got ingredients on the back of the box. The badge code is on the back of the box too. They switched it up. Usually it's on the bottom, not here, on the back. My voice almost cracked there. Don't pay attention to that. And then you've got that barcode on the bottom. And here you've got the bottle for Green Walk. Only difference really is the coloration on the sticker here. Whoa! This one does have a metal cap. So if it's a tester, it's just a little plastic cap. But if it's the real deal with the full presentation, metal cap. It also has the little Woods Collection symbol on the top. Look at that difference. Wow. One more difference on the neck of the bottle here, on the full presentation, it says Woods Collection. On the tester, it says nothing. So you can see it right there, Woods Collection. And now on the tester, nada. Mm. So if you get the full presentation, it's slightly upgraded. And I will be a mofo. I just realized something here. There is a description of the fragrance on the back of the sticker on each one of these that I didn't see. And I've got to say, that is stupid. It's a nice idea but it's not pulled off well. It is hard as flip to read what's on the back of this. You have to keep rotating it. Because of the curvature of the bottle and the fragrance, it makes the, uh, the letters just all warped. Probably looks better on the camera than it does in real life, but that is not easy to read. 
a woody and passionate boom for, you kind of have to read it like this. If you try to read it with two eyes, difficult. A woody and passionate boom for this bold fragrance in the heart of neroli and vetiver oil. The floral background with a touch of spices offers some original and delicious notes that sound like an invitation to an olfactory journey. Let's check it out. Okay, yeah, this one's a little more my speed. It's got a nice grassy vetiver right off the top here. It's actually a, a pretty nice vetiver, a little bit sharp, but still smells pleasant. It's very woody. The vetiver here doesn't come across like a really clean vetiver. It's not like Tom Ford gray vetiver or anything like that. It's not really dirty though. It's just a really grassy and woody vetiver uh, with a little touch of neroli. It smells really pleasant. I enjoy this one. I don't regret that at all. I'll have to see how it dries down, but if you like vetiver, not a bad pickup. Next up, let's do this Rebel by Pete and Pedro. This one also, no cellophane. This is exactly how it came. I'll let you take a look at the box before I crack into it and pull the bottle out. So here you've got the front with the house and name of the fragrance. This comes in a 50 milliliter size. It is an eau de parfum concentration. And here you have the back of the box. I don't see a batch code anywhere on the box itself. I mean, the box is a little on the cheap side and everything, but honestly, it's not a very expensive fragrance. It's $49 retail for this 50 mil size. And when you go on the website, you can actually get a, a discount code, like 10% off. Man, it is stuck in there. Okay, finally. Bottle here, definitely on the cheaper side of things. So here's a good look at the bottle, just a plain square bottle with the name of the fragrance and the logo of the house there. On the bottom of the bottle, you'll see your sticker, and there is actually a badge code there. The cap fits really snugly over the atomizer. It's just a, a plain, cheap plastic cap, no big deal. Let's go ahead and give this a spray. Atomizer is kind of bleh. Okay, so for this fragrance, when I saw the note breakdown, I said that it was probably an Aventus clone. And then I saw a quick video with Alpha M where he was talking about it and he said it was kind of inspired by Aventus, but it wasn't a direct Aventus clone. So we'll call this inspired by Aventus. It doesn't smell bad. This is a fragrance that's sub $50. Uh, again, if you use a 10% discount code, you're looking at 44, 45, right around there. It has a little bit of a pineapple note in the opening, but it's more bergamot than it is pineapple. The bergamot smells fresh, it smells refreshing, juicy. It smells pretty good off a tester strip. I'll go ahead and spray this one on my hand because a lot of times off tester strips, citrus will come out much stronger than it actually does off skin. So I wanna just give this one a test off my hand. Couple sprays, let this settle for just a second. Kind of let that alcohol kind of initial blast settle. It's not as bright off skin as it is off a tester strip, but it still smells good. Again, it's more bergamot heavy than it is pineapple. It smells pretty juicy, sweet, refreshing. A little touch of black currant in there that adds some tartness, or as it's listed in the notes for the fragrance, cassis fruit. Yeah, it smells good. Ultimately, it does smell basically like an Aventus clone, and I don't know how it's gonna smell once it dries down, because again, this is just the initial opening. But the opening is pleasant, for sure. I'm gonna keep letting this dry down, open the other two, and then come back to this and see how it changes. Next up, let's check this guy out, Nautica Blue Ambition. Here we have it, Nautica Blue Ambition. Nautica Blue is, like I said earlier, a very inexpensive fragrance. You can find it in TJ Maxx stores all across America and Ross's as well. TK Maxx for you guys in the United Kingdom. And while that fragrance is pretty cheap smelling, to be honest, it still sells really, really well. Apparently guys love a very cheap aquatic. Here we've got the box for Nautica Blue Ambition. You can see the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration down there at the bottom. You'll notice on Blue Ambition as this different color scheme than on Nautica Blue. On the top of the box, you've got your Nautica Sale, ingredient info on the back of the box, and your batch code punched into the bottom of the box. And here we have the bottle, the exact same as Nautica Blue. This one has more of an aquamarine color to it. Here you can see the bottle in that classic Nautica style. And on the bottom, your sticker with batch code. This retails for about 63 bucks. I've got to tell you guys, don't pay that much. Even if I end up really liking this and I say it's worth picking up, you can find this online for under $20. I might regret this, but I'm just gonna spray it on skin. Let it dry, let it dry. Ugh, it is very alcoholy off the top, not good. I just need to let it dry down a little more. It's got a, a strong 
alcohol tinge when you first spray this bad boy on. Some fragrances have that worse than others. Starting to settle. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Feels like it's got maybe an overload of like cologne or, or something in it. Because when you get a big whiff of it, it's almost like it settles down into your lungs and then just sticks to them. It's got this citrus combo off the top, mandarin and bergamot, but it doesn't really come across super refreshing or sweet or bright. It just kind of lays flat right at the beginning, just kind of, I didn't have super high hopes for it, but I was hopeful that maybe it would be one of those fragrances that you pick up really cheap that kind of flew under the radar and then turned out to be pretty solid for a $20 or sub $20 purchase. And maybe it gets better as it dries down, but the initial opening is not attention grabbing. It's got kind of a C note undertone to it, uh, but again, not really refreshing, not really attention grabbing, just kind of almost like a standard sport fragrance. Not a whole lot to it, just kind of spray it on go do something and feel better that you have a fragrance on. It's got this woodsiness to it, but it's very synthetic. It's actually got a few woody notes in it, pine, clear wood, and cashmere wood. Cashmere wood obviously is not a real wood. Clear wood is an aroma chemical. It's basically patchouli if you remove any of the earthiness. Clear wood is uh, by Ferminich. There's also Akigala wood, which is basically the same thing as clear wood. So you've got a lot of synthetic woody notes basically is what I'm trying to say. I've smelled worse things. It's just not really something I would care to smell like because it's just very bland. That's a letdown. All right, last one to open. That was pretty cool, right? Davidoff Cool Water Intense. So you've got your standard Davidoff Cool Water box here. Uh, difference being this one has a darker blue. When the light hits it just right, it looks kind of cool. So here we go, Davidoff Cool Water Intense. Ignore that big thumbprint at the top. Davidoff logo at the top of the box. Ingredients for this one on the side of the box. A little info about this particular fragrance on the back of the box in multiple languages. And on the bottom of the box, your batch code and barcode. Here we've got the bottle for Davidoff Cool Water Intense. Same bottle, just a little bit darker blue. And on the bottom, your sticker with batch code. This one, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray on skin. Let's give this a shot. Comes off the skin really strong, yeah. So holding my arm out here, uh, sprayed it on just a little bit ago, I can pick it up very clearly. This one is a strong fragrance. I don't know how much that has to do with cool water, the original. There's a whole lot of, uh, it smells like Ambroxan. Either Ambroxan or something right in line with Ambroxan, one of those aroma chemicals in the same family. There's obviously Mandarin Orange here, which is uh, actually the note that they advertise on the back of the box. Green Mandarin, they say. And coconut as well. Yeah, there's a, there's a big dose of whatever that Ambroxan type note is because it's tickling the inside of my nose, my nose hairs when I smell this. It's definitely synthetic, like very, very super obviously synthetic. At the same time though, it's pleasing. It's definitely not anything like cool water. So I mean, if you go into this expecting a more intense version of the original, you're gonna be disappointed. At least it's not another Invictus though. Yeah, in some weird, screwed up kind of way, I kinda dig it. It's got a little too much of the Ambroxan type note, whatever that is. Uh, but the coconut and orange is actually kind of interesting. And like I said, it comes off really strongly. If this did not last for a long time, I'd be really surprised. Because this thing is coming off my skin like a frigging nuclear bomb. I don't know, I kind of I kind of mess with it. It's a little bit different, a little bit out there with the coconut, the mandarin, this overload of, again, what comes off like Ambroxan. It's freaking loud, <laughs> so that could be a drawback uh, for a lot of you guys out there. Let's go back to Rebel before we wrap this up. It has changed, it has changed considerably. The citrus, gone, gone, none of it left. No bergamot, no pineapple, no blackcurrant. It's a little herbal, yeah. So it has thyme and sage in the mid, and that's how it's coming across, like a woody herbal fragrance. It no longer smells like Aventus. It has an Aventus type opening, but once that citrus is gone, which is probably 15, 20 minutes tops, different direction, completely different fragrance. More herbal, mossy, and woody than anything at this point. Not coming off my skin super strongly. Uh, I wouldn't call it a skin scent or anything at this point, but it is dominated by the friggin' cool water. 
cool water intense. It smells all right, but the opening is the best part here for sure. It's got that really attention grabbing opening. Uh, the citrus in there really smells nice. A little bit of tartness from the black currant. Uh, but once that's gone, it's more okay. I seem to do this a lot with uh, first impressions, but these have been drying down and uh, Cool Water Intense is still overpoweringly strong. I mean, the performance on that, really good. To the point that I think it's gonna make my head explode. But yeah, I just wanted to follow up on this one, Blue Ambition. So the more this dries down, the more it becomes uh, a basic blue fragrance. Honestly, something in the vein of like a Dior Sauvage as it dries down. Now I'm not saying that this is a Dior Sauvage clone, so don't get that twisted. But as this dries down and enters into the dry down, it does have a similarity to Dior Sauvage. It is not loud like Dior Sauvage. It is not strong like Dior Sauvage. It is completely overwhelmed by the cool water intense that I have on. But as it dries down, it becomes a more serviceable, very cheap blue fragrance. So I just kind of wanted to jump in here and say that because it has changed up from when I last left this video. All right, that's all I wanted to say, bye. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. I've been recording for a long, long time here. First impressions on Rebel, Woods Collection, Cool Water Intense, and Blue Ambition, done. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thanks so much. I appreciate all your support. Thanks for hanging out with me this long because you've made it to the end of the video. That's a really long time. I'll see you guys again with another fragrance video. See you guys.